This should be a quick one. This is a Triplight Omni VS1000. It is a 500 watt UPS. It does not power on. I've actually had this in my possession for probably about a, a decade at this point, but it doesn't power on. And that is because the battery that I had in here died quite a while ago. And the battery that was in here is actually the wrong one for this unit anyway. Um, it is a 12 volt, 7.2 amp hour sealed lead acid uh, battery, but it isn't the right, <laughs> the right battery for this. So the terminals never really fit properly and the capacity is obviously not as capacitant <laughs> as if I had the, the proper batteries for it. So I went on Amazon and just ordered a replacement battery. I, I literally just Googled the part number for this and ordered a replacement. The replacement arrived. You can actually see it's smaller than the one that was in here by a decent amount, same height, but uh, a little bit more narrow. And it's only a six volt battery. So I immediately went back on Amazon and was ready to return this, but I did a little bit more futzing around and just looking and I don't know, I don't have the original uh, paperwork for this, obviously. I actually, <laughs> I picked this up during bulk pickup somebody was throwing it away and I'm guessing they were throwing it away I don't quite remember at this point but I believe it was just because the battery was dead I've had this I had this thing previously in service before the battery completely flatlined on it so I've never seen what the original battery configuration is supposed to be but after uh you know futzing around with this a little bit I figured out that these kind of go in here if the wires move out of the way yeah kind of like that so you got one on this side and then one on the other side. The missing piece here is, of course, we have... I, so I, I did go on Amazon and order a second one. So what we're missing here is a connector that goes from the positive of one to the negative of the other to connect them on the back end. And I believe it's just a very small pigtail connector that goes from one side to the other here. These two connectors plug in around the front. You can actually see they're exactly the size that they need to be to reach the two terminals if these were oriented thusly. So what we're going to do is make that cable. Finally broke down and got myself a pair of crimpers. I've resisted buying a pair of these for my entire adult life. <laughs> I prefer to solder things. I don't quite understand these. There's colors on them. I'm sure they're great. I know that these are very widely used in the automotive industry, but that's enough talking out my ass. And I, I got one of these just generic kits to kind of smell funny. The different colors represent different wire gauges, and I don't have a wire. I'll be right back. I have returned with speaker wire. This is 14 gauge, 99.9% .9 oxygen free copper Amazon basics speaker wire. This should be fine. I think I am going to cut myself a length of this. I don't know how long it really needs to be. Again, I don't know what the original pigtail looked like. I'm guessing that should be more than sufficient, if not excessive. And I only need one conductor here, so. This should be very straightforward. Just pulling one of the conductors out. We're gonna go with black. I guess I could cut the shielding here. Oh, you know what, these are this is twisted in here. So I need to pull these out as a unit. So there's our twisted wire. I'll take this side. Oh my God. <laughs> I've probably had these about as long as I've had that UPS and uh, you can see the fine job that it, did, that it does here. <laughs> Maybe time to uh, upgrade my wire strippers. So Here's our bit of wire. So let's figure out what size blade connector we need here. So this is the red American wire gauge 22. Let's see how that fits. That's uh, hmm. a bit tight. And it doesn't quite, okay. I just don't know how connectors work. That looks perfect. This is definitely too much uh, bare wire here. We don't need quite that much. So I'll trim that back. I hope this fits actually. This 18, what did I say the speaker wire was? 
14. Oh. Oops. Well, let's see if we can get 14 gauge wire to fit. Maybe that'll be the title for this video. Weird Internet Man attempts to fit 14 gauge wire in 18 gauge wire hole. I'm just kind of twisting it. I don't think that's going to work. Actually, you can kind of see it poking through. I'm going to say that works. So I've twisted the wire on. I can see the copper wire just kind of starting to poke through. So I think I'm going to try to crimp them. This is my first time using these. First time ever using crimpers. I don't know if I'm supposed to crimp just the wider part at the bottom or the whole thing, but this is kind of a, a wide mouth. So here we go. Wow, that's ugly. I guess that's the nature of uh, crimp connections. Oof, okay. Let's do the other one. I guess it's fine. I mean, these aren't coming off, that's for sure. Let's uh, hook it up and see if it explodes. Before we hook these up, let's make sure that they're not completely toast. I should have done that before I started. 6.4. Fantastic. 6.4. We're halfway there. <laughs> it hasn't exploded yet. This is a good sign. I have good feelings about this. There's our 12.95 volts. Awesome. So I guess that worked. I suppose I will slam it into the, uh, the UPS and see what happens. Hey, I did it. F so slight misstep on my part. Okay, huge misstep on my part. I should have hooked those wires up first, but it went in, so it has to come out, right? There we go. I think the problem is I made those leads a bit too long and now it's kind of lifted up a bit and it's getting stuck under the casing. And I'm not actually sure they're still hooked up. Nope, they're not. This one's totally disconnected. Hmm. Let's try this again. A little gaffer's tape never hurt anyone. Round two. All right. Well, it's in this time. And I think I can slide it out enough to connect the contacts. Yeah. And... I believe we're even still connected. When I hook this up, this thing should come to life. I have not done this off camera or anything, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. This is not plugged into the wall, by the way. Oh shit, this is no longer plugged into the wall, by the way. Okay, those are on. It should turn on when I push the power button. Huzzah! We have battery power, fantastic. Oh, those are my bench lights. There we go. These bench lights brought to you by batteries. All right, well, this has been a complete success. Everything works exactly the way it should. Oh, I should probably try plugging this in and uh, make sure that it charges. Kick over to line power. Oh God, fantastic. Well, thank you for watching. I, I hope you, uh, you learned something. I'm sorry this didn't explode. This could have been a lot more interesting and dramatic, but hey, now I have a UPS again. Bye-bye.